where are you going? Come on. Let's go. How you going guys, Curtis from Cutting Edge Engineering. Today's job I have an adapter to change out on a bucket. So this bucket's off a ZX490 Hitachi Excavator. It's come in from the customer, they've actually broken the adapter off. So the adapter is a part of the tooth arrangement that is welded onto the bucket. Then the tooth fits over the adapter, or some people call them a carrier. It is pretty common for these bigger machines to break adapters and teeth. Not really sure why it failed, we can't see any obvious signs to what would have led to the failure. They must have been digging something pretty heavy to have snapped this off. A few of the components that make up a tooth and adapter um, arrangement. This here is the adapter. This is the part that gets welded onto the bucket. This other part is your, is your tooth. So the tooth just slips on over the top of the adapter like that. To retain the tooth on, you use a retaining clip, which is basically just a split washer. That goes down inside that recess in the adapter. Flip the tooth on all the way and the pin has got a recess machined into it and it comes in from the side that the retaining clip is not. You hammer it through, the little groove falls inside that clip and that locks your tooth onto the adapter. So this is what it's supposed to look like when they're not broken. So first thing we need to do, we need to gouge this adapter off and get set up to put the new one back on. Righto guys, so the way we're going to remove this adapter, we're going to do it by air art gouging. We know there has been a lot of comments wondering why we don't use oxy or plasma. Keep your eyes out for a video, we'll do it at a later date comparing the three, so oxy, plasma and air arc, and we might do a bit of a cost comparison as well. But for today, we're going to use the air arc to get this off.
What? What the hell is this? What is this? A I gift for you. you. From Bradley. That's neat. This looks fancy. What's this? Whoa. Look at that. Mm, nom, nom, nom. Good boy. Nom, nom, nom. <laughs> get it. Get it. Get it. Short. My yep, boy. take it in my bed. What you got? Yum, yum, yum. Put them on. You've got you've got hundreds of toys on this. Where are they? Right, oh guys, so we've completed all the gouging on the bucket. We've ground everything up ready for the new adapter to go on. Now what I need to do, I need to get the adapter. I need to grind all the paint off it. I need to sit it in position, sort of mark things out where they're going to go, make sure I've got the right angle to what the other tooth on the other side does. After we do that, we can stitch it in place. We'll then give it a preheat, and then we'll spend a couple of hours welding this out. So we're just going to have a bit of a chat about our wire and gas combinations. A lot of people wonder why I run gas with a flux cord wire, and that is because it is Hobart XL525. It is a dual shield wire. It has a flux on the inside of it, but it also requires gas. The gas we're going to be using is an Argo Shield Heavy, which is 80% argon, 10 to 20% CO2. It is the preferred mix of gas for that particular wire. The reason we run with the Hobart wire is it has great impact properties. It's, it's still elastic, even though it is a solid, solid thing after it's been welded. We don't have any dramas with this wire cracking. We did have issues with other wires that are in the same sort of category. So we went with this. We haven't had any dramas ever since we changed over to it. That's what we'll be running. That's what we're going to burn that adapter on with today. The welder we use is a WIA 500i. It is a good quality machine. You can mix stick, gouge, scratch start, TIG, all those sort of good things with it. The machine is 500 amps. The duty cycle of the machine, you'll get 500 amps at 60% or about 400 amps at 100%. 
So pretty good, robust little machine. It's our go-to machine for anything we're doing. Right, guys, so I'm going to take this bucket outside and flip it over. Being that I have the ability and the machinery to flip this around and manipulate it into the positions I want to, I'm going to do so. I can lay a lot more material down here in a much shorter time frame, so that's why I do it.
Righto guys, so while the bucket's here, the customer's requested that we turn the gum guards. Those are these guards here that go down the side of the bucket, just helps protect the sidewall. All we're going to do is knock the pins out, we'll turn them around, they go either way, they're, um, they're universal. Being that the bottom has got a lot of wear in it, the top's actually still quite heavy, it's going to give a lot more protection down here and they won't need to be turned in the future. This off a e oh, fuck. <laughs> and that'll just give the bottom of the, the bottom of the gum guards a little bit more. Components that make up a tooth and adapter um, system, call a system. You have the locking. Oh fuck. You have the retain. Oh fuck. <sighs> but it has broken. They've supplied me a new one. So the first step we've got to do, we're going to gouge this old one up with some tapping things. Fuck's sake. <laughs> Stupid train. <laughs> there it goes. Yeah, it's pretty much it. It's burning. What? It's burning. What's burning? Yeah. I'm, not, I'm looking at you when I should be looking at this stuff. Why aren't you looking at that? Because you move all the time, then I don't know. I can't read your mind. I you don't know what you're going to do with this. Just talk about it then. Right. So, the why we're using. No, no, like, is oh, Hobart XL. Oh. <laughs> Can you move your face? <laughs> See the bottom's worn more on the top? No. What the hell? Just before you go hurry and putting them things in, can you show a bit of a close-up? Just, like, rub the bottom. <laughs> no, 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 rub it. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> oh, the tape is good. 
You're using the blunt end. Jesus. Okay. Oh. Mm. I'm very confused. <laughs> I thought it was a costume for you. <laughs> really? Yeah. Can I fucking explode or something? <laughs> oh, don't. <laughs> hey, troll. Little troll. <laughs> 